Good morning. Happy Thursday. It is nice to see you. Please stand up. Let's do the Pledge of Allegiance and get our day going. Right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job. All right, what I need you to do is get your calendars out. Need you to get your calendars out. Does everybody have their calendar? Looks like this. All right, let's find the top of your calendar, the middle of your calendar, and the bottom. Top, middle, and bottom. Information on the top of your calendar. Where is it? Where's the month? Put your finger on the month. Okay, tell me what month is it? Is it May or is it April? If you guess the bottom one, you are correct. It is April and it's right there on your calendar. And what other information is next to the month? The year. What year is it? It is 2020. Excellent. Great job. So what is today? Is today Thursday or is it Wednesday? Yesterday was Wednesday. So today is Thursday. And if today is Thursday, what's tomorrow going to be? Well, let's look. Yesterday was the 15th. So let's bring our finger up. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday, the 16th. And tomorrow will be Friday, the 17th. Awesome. All right. Let's look at April's number. Can you find April? It's right there. I know it's hard to see. What is April's number? April's number is... Is it two or is it four? April's number is four, the bottom number. Good job. You guys are doing awesome with this. All right. Who can tell me what season it is? What season is it? Is it summer or is it spring? It is spring. Great. All right. Let's review money. You guys did an awesome. Oh. The weather. We didn't do the weather. Let's do the weather. So it's early, and right now at my house, it's windy. It's partly cloudy and partly sunny, and I'm going to school this morning, so I'm definitely going to need a jacket because it is cool outside. All right. All right. Let's go into money. I'm going to give you a quick, oh, and what's today's date? Today is the 16th, right? The number is 16. All right, now we're going to go into money. Real quick, quick test. Touch the penny. Touch the penny. If you touch the penny, you are correct. This is the penny. Touch the nickel. I'll give you a hint. The nickel is smaller. Touch the nickel. Which one is smaller? If you touch this coin, you are correct. This is a nickel. Great job. Sorry about that. Touch the dime. Which one is the dime? Dime is worth 10 cents. Which one is the dime? I'll give you a hint. The brown one is the penny. Which one is the dime? That is the dime. Excellent. Great job. Find the quarter. Which one is the quarter? I will give you a hint. The quarter is the smaller coin. That is the quarter. Good job. And the last one is touch the half a dollar. 
the half a dollar is the large coin. I'll even call it a huge coin. Which one? Good job. I couldn't fool you on that. Excellent. All right. Let's see how you do with money. Dollar bills. Let's see. Which one is the $5 bill? Which one is the $5 bill? Look on the corners. Look for the number. You guessed it. This is the $5 bill. Good job. Which one is the $10 bill? Look very closely at the numbers in the corners. Which one is the $10 bill? This is the $10 bill. Excellent. Find the $20 bill. Which one is the $20 bill? Look on the corners. Find a 2 and a 0. You found it. Well done. You guys are doing such a good job with money. All right. We are done with that. We are moving right along. i like you to get your packets out. Put me on pause until you do, um, until you find it. So yesterday we did this one. Let me put my glasses on so I can see. Okay. So we did the missing food group. So I need you to turn the page. Get a pencil. Now, before we do anything on a worksheet, what is the first thing we do? We read the directions. So, lesson three, bananas for fruit. I'm just gonna get you started on this and then you can finish it um, after the video on your own time. I love fruit, color the fruits. What letter does the name of each fruit start with? Write the letter on the lines next to each fruit. Well. This is a pineapple. We're going to color it because it's a pineapple. And pineapple starts with the letter what? P, 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 P. So we're going to write a P for pineapple. What is this? That's a B, B, banana. And that's a fruit. So we are going to write the letter B for banana. An apple is also a fruit. Apple starts with the letter A. Great. All right, you can continue with that. The next page is vote for veggies. You're going to do the same thing as you did on the previous page, but this is for vegetables. Vegetables are my favorite. Write the first letter of each vegetable on the lines. Color in the vegetables that start with the same letter in each row. Oh, this is a little different. Color the vegetables that start with the same letter on each row. Okay, so carrots. Carrots start with C. C -c -c corn. Corn starts with C. So you would color the corn because it starts with C, like carrot. All right, good job. Now turn the page. You can finish that on your own time. Now we're going to do some counting. Lesson three, snack count. It's snack time. Count the number of fruits and vegetables on each plate. Write the numbers on the lines. Which plate in each row has more? Circle it. Color the fruits and vegetables. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four tomatoes. And let's see, we have how many berries? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six berries. So I'm going to write that. So which is more? Which number is bigger? Is it four? Or is it six? Which plate has more? If you guess six, you are correct. So we're going to circle the six. Good job. Okay, you can count the rest on your own. Let me get, oh, this one doesn't have, 
Here we go. Turn the page. And let's just do lesson four, time to grow. This is a review. Now you've watched many of my videos. You can watch them again. Um, how do plants grow? Number the pictures from one to nine, going from left to right, top to bottom. Then read the sentences in order to learn how the beans grow. Okay. So this is the order of how uh, seeds grow. So the first thing that we have to do is plant the seed. The second thing we do is we cover it with soil. So that will be two. After we cover the seed with soil, what do we do? One, two, third step is to water it. Good job. One, two, three, what comes after three? Four. So the fourth step is it grows roots. After four comes five, it grows leaves. It starts to sprout. Number six would be it gets taller. Now, on number six, you can really start seeing the parts of a plant. So here you see the roots. Here you see the stem. And here you see the leaves. The stem and all the leaves. Now, what comes after six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is it flowers. It starts to flower. Can you see the flower? Eight. A bean grows. Where's the bean? Can you find the bean? Where's the bean? There it is. And the last step is time to eat. Look at all those beans. And that would be nine. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You guys did a great job. If you are growing something at home, send me pictures. I would love to see it. All right, I will see you tomorrow. This was fun. You did a great job. All right, have a great day and exercise. Get outside, help your parents with the chores, all that good stuff. See you tomorrow.